Welcome to Crestron Toolbox Tutorial. In this video, you will learn about the Easy Config tool. This tool is tightly integrated into the Device Discovery tool, but it can also be opened as a standalone tool. When Easy Config connects to a device, the configuration window will show the applicable configuration settings based on that device. The Function and System Info buttons are the only two options that are available on every device. Easy Config streamlines the configuration process while still giving you access to every available setting via the Functions button. It also provides convenient shortcuts to other related tools on the connected device type. What you can do in this tool will vary depending on the type of device you are connected to. If you are connecting to a touch panel, for example, you can load a touch panel project. If you connect to a processor, you can load a program. Let's use a processor in this example. Easy Config gives you an easy way to launch other related tools, such as Network Device Tree Tool or Simple Debugger. What else can you do? You can upload firmware and check the latest version. You can also view and load programs into the processor. Since we only have two programs loaded, that is what we can see. Click the Program button to reload or update the program. We can view the IP tables from here as well for Ethernet devices as they are defined in the program. Note that the IP table modifications are generally made in the program, not here. Changing existing IP table entries will generally not work except in specific situations. The Web Projects button will let you load and manage web-based user projects that you want to load or have already loaded into the processor. You can enable and disable the web server, change directory locations, and delete projects as desired. You can also change or edit your Ethernet settings. Since this processor has a control subnet, we can also configure that here. To do so, you will need to specify the network address and the CIDR you wish to use. CIDR is an abbreviation of a subnet mask. Remember, the control subnet and the LAN side of the processor must be on a different subnet mask slash CIDR, regardless of whether or not you are using both. Internally, the networks must be separate. By default, generally speaking, the LAN side of a processor is class C, CIDR 24. The control subnet is class B, CIDR 16. This is what automatic means for the control subnet, class B by default. You may need to check product documentation to confirm this, as this may be changed in future firmware updates. You can also activate isolation mode for the internal router. For more information on isolation mode, consult Crestron Online Help. Make sure the clock on the processor is accurate, as this is important. You can choose a time server or set it manually here. For example, this specific processor is set to U.S. specific time zone to recall events based on the program. The Functions menu will give you access to the advanced functions of the device. The Functions menu will change on the device that it is connected to. Refer to the local help file for more information on these settings. The System Info button will open System Info though generally this tool is no longer used. Thank you for watching.